Okay, guys, so let's talk about automating our plugin parameters. All right, guys, so I'm in this mastering session. It's just an old mastering session of mine that I just opened up. And I'm just going to make a plugin. These are all bypass plugins here because they're blue, right? In Pro Tools, our bypass plugins are blue. Um, that's how they display on the inserts panel. So I'm just going to hold Command and click on this to make it active, right? To make it so it's not bypassed anymore. And I'm just going to talk about how we tend to automate parameters for plugins and Pro Tools. So this is really helpful even if um, what I try to do when I'm mixing a song, for example, is even if the music is repeating or the music is repetitive in terms of the composition of the piece, you want to kind of make it um, a little more varied and have it change as time progresses throughout the piece. So one of the ways that I do that is I add automation to my plugin parameters, right? So you can have, for example, a reverb. You can make that get more or less dramatic depending on if you're in the chorus or the verse, um, things like that. Um, you could also, for example, make the delay more dramatic or change the timing of the delay as time progresses as you go from a verse to a chorus or vice versa. So I'm gonna show you this on my Fab Filter EQ here because this is what I have open, but you can do this on almost any plugin. So let me just show you how to do this really quickly. So basically what you're gonna do is whatever plugin you're in, you're gonna go here to this little folder icon here. It looks like a folder to me. I'm not sure if it actually is supposed to be a folder, but um, it looks like a folder to me. So you just click here and then you find the parameter that you want to uh, automate. So I have all these options for this EQ and this is because I have options for each band, right? That's why I have so many options here. Um, so basically I'm just gonna show you, let's see, with the master bypass. So pretty much every plugin that you work with will have a master bypass option. So you can automate this parameter on almost any plugin. So I'm gonna add that. And actually I think I wanna show you guys something that's actually on, um, that's not a binary scale here. So let me, let's see, maybe, let me look at what I wanna do here. Um, Let's do the output level as well, because that's actually, it's like a little knob. So that it's not just binary, it's not just on or off the way the bypass is. So I'm gonna add that as well, and I'll show you both of these. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna close this in a second so that I can do the automation on my actual automation graphs. But what we're gonna be looking at here is the output level, right? That's one of the parameters that we chose to automate. And then we're gonna be looking at this bypass parameter as well, right? So whether or not it's bypassed. So again, keep an eye on whether or not this is blue because that tells us if it's bypassed. Um, so what you're gonna do is you wanna just open up an automation graph for those uh, parameters that we just chose. So there's two ways to do that. You can click where it says waveform here at the head of the track and you can find the parameter, right? So here are my parameters. Or the way I like to do it is just leave waveform as is because then you can actually edit the audio if you like. Um, it's just a preference thing, it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna hit this, sorry, I didn't tell you what I was doing. So I'm gonna hit this little triangle here to open up my automation graphs. And then I'm just gonna change them to be those two parameters. All right, so now I have my master bypass and I have my output level. So um, in this song, let's say I'm right here. Let's say I want to bypass it for just this section of the song. And so this is just like working with any other automation graph, right? So I'm in the smart tool here, so I can either hold command and then click to add breakpoints on my automation graph. Um, since I've highlighted a section here, I can also hover above it with the, to get that trim tool icon. So you see how it's like this little, uh, it's kind of like a bracket that's on its side here. Um, and I could just click and drag up if I wanted to. Um, uh, another way is you can just go into the grabber tool and then you can just click to add breakpoints. You don't have to hold command. I like to use the smart tool approach. There's a few different approaches that I'll use. It kind of depends on what I'm doing, right? So if I'm in the smart tool, I can highlight and delete breakpoints. Um, you can affect it that way. But basically what you want to do is just uh, adjust the automation graph to fit whatever you desire. So right now I've made it so that this EQ is going to be bypassed for this section of the song and then it's not going to be bypassed before or after. All right, so then similarly with something that's not binary, you'll notice when I was messing with this one, it's either on or off. I can't do any values between the two extremes here. But with some parameters, we can do uh, different values between those extremes. So I'm just gonna hold Command and click here, 
add some breakpoints before and after where I want to mess with it. And I'm just going to crank up the output level and I can adjust it. I can have it adjust slowly over time. I can have it do whatever I want it to do. And that's it. Now I've automated these two parameters and I'm actually going to, I'm going to hit mute here so we don't hear the song, but we can see the parameters changing as we hit play. So what I want you to do is to look here at the CQ um, this first time that I'm playing it and just see how it turns blue as I go into the section where I have that master bypass is on, right? So it's bypassed. So I'm going to hit play. So see how it's now bypassed. And then if I go over here and I hit play, it's going to go from being bypassed to not bypassed at this exact point. Ta-da! And we will also notice, actually I'm going to make this a little more extreme here so we can see this really quickly. I'm going to hit play here and I'm going to open this up so we can see it. And we're going to be looking at this output level knob here. So I'm going to hit play. See how it's moving around now? So I've fully automated that uh, plug-in parameter. And of course now I have clipping, so you got to watch out for that, right? I wouldn't want that. But that's basically it. That's how you automate plug-in parameters. All right, so that's about it. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you found it useful, so please let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let your friends who are also into audio know about my channel. And if you do want to support my channel more directly, I have a Patreon, so it's patreon.com slash noise. And my patrons do get access to additional content. So I think that's about it. I come out with new videos every Wednesday, and thank you for watching. Okay. Okay, done. Bye.